you probably already know that a lot of businesses get leads through Google and you want a piece of the action, right? Well, how do you actually start getting leads? Getting customers for a contractor through Google, it's not going to be the same as getting customers for a supermarket, for example. It's a completely different business. And this video is geared more towards contractors and small businesses that operate in their local service area. They're trying to get more customers. So in this video, I want to explain exactly where you want to show up in order to actually get leads through Google. Most people think that all you need is a website and a little bit of SEO. But the main thing that you actually need if you're a contractor or if your business falls you know, in this category that I just mentioned, uh, you need a Google My Business listing because that's going to be the main way that people actually find you. Now, whenever you search for a service you need, Google is going to show this thing right here. And this is called Local Pack. And this is basically what the whole video is about. The reason why this is so important is because most people are going to look here in order to actually find businesses. So if you only have a website and your website is optimized for SEO, you're not actually going to show up here. Doing those things is really important to actually show up higher, but in order to show up here, you need a Google My Business listing. Now, when you get a Google My Business listing, that's actually going to place your business on Google Maps. And on Local Pack, if you actually click on More Businesses button, you're going to see all these different businesses on Google Maps. Now, if you don't live in an extremely unpopulated area, you're bound to have a lot of competitors. Now, Google looks at all these businesses on Google Maps, and they're trying to figure out like which businesses should we actually show up first. Now, if you have a website and your website is optimized for SEO and your Google My Business listing is optimized for SEO as well, and you're getting reviews and people are actually interacting with your listing, this sends positive signals to Google. You basically properly explain to Google why they should show your business in front of all these different competitors. Of course, if you want to work with me and my team, then head over to logicalmarketer.net. I'll leave a link down there as well. And uh, yeah, let's go back to the video. So Google looks at uh, thousands of different factors in order to determine which businesses they should show first. And the top three businesses that they pick are going to show up on local pack. Now keep in mind, Google also works based off of proximity. The businesses that are closer to you are more likely to actually show up in the local pack. And the reason for that, of course, is because Google wants to show businesses that are closer to you. You don't want to work with a guy that's a couple of hours away from you, and he probably doesn't want to work with you either. So proximity itself is going to be a huge factor. But proximity, combined with all these different factors, is going to play a huge effect on basically whether or not you show up really high on Google and whether you end up in a local pack and all of that. But if you do end up in a local pack, people can basically call you directly from Google, and then, of course, they can just click on your listing, see more information, and then, of course, go to your website. If your business doesn't really sell a really simple services, like for example, low mowing services, then most people will want to go to your website in order to find more information. This is why it's also really important that your website acts as a sales page, because you need to properly explain to people why they should work with your business instead of your competitors. Now, one of the most common mistakes that businesses make is the fact that they focus too much on unimportant details. Now, for example, if you're a remodeler, you need to focus mostly on your pictures because picture is worth a thousand words. So, of course, if you properly present your work on your website, that's going to do a lot more for somebody that's actually deciding whether or not they should work with you or somebody else than if you focus on these really small and irrelevant details. When people go to your website, they're wondering, like, is this company going to scam me? Is this company trustworthy? Can I actually trust these guys to come into my home to even give me an estimate? If you show them pictures of your work, if you show them yourself, if you write a little story about yourself on the website, then people can kind of get to know you. And then all these reviews that you have and all these pictures of your work are going to basically give them a really nice story about you and they're going to give them a testimony to your quality of work. So it's really, really important that you focus on these important details that people actually look at when they are trying to hire a company. Instead of focusing whether or not this button is too small or another irrelevant detail. The beautiful thing about the local pack is the fact that these leads that you actually get through local pack are highly qualified. Because people that go to Google and they search for, for example, bathroom remodeling near me, and they click on your listing, they go to your website, they see pictures of your work, and you, you know, if you did all these things that I just mentioned, then people are going to want to work with you. And by the time they contact you, by the time they get on a call with you, they kind of already decided to buy that thing. It's like when you buy a car and when you're trying to buy a car and you go and you see this beautiful car and everything about it is awesome and then you just try it, try it out and then you see that it's really awesome and you're like, you know, let's, let's just go ahead and buy it. At least 
you know, if you're an impulsive buyer like me. <laughs> so if you properly did all these things, you're going to get a lot of high qualified leads that are super easy to close. So of course, because of that, you can choose to increase the prices of your work. You can make more money while pretty much doing the same work uh, and you can focus more on the quality and stuff. But yeah, you know, like the leads that you can get through local pack are highly qualified. It's not easy because if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. But actually nowadays, a lot of businesses are doing it. Like if you search for remodelers near me or landscapers near me or some other service, you're going to find a lot of different companies on Google. And the top companies from your local area are killing it. Like, for example, I work with a landscaper in a really small city, uh, less than 10,000 people. I actually have a case study video on this YouTube channel. This guy is getting 50 calls a month through his Google My Business listing. Just calls. Like 10, 15 contact form inquiries. People are constantly calling him. A lot of people go through his website and then they call him from the website. Like he's getting a ton of leads in a really small city. Remodelers as well. Like it's not easy to actually get a lot of leads. But like if you can get 5 to 10 high quality leads per month. You know what that would do for your business? I mean. Of course you do, but <laughs> I'm just, you know, stating the obvious. But yeah, you know, that's basically what I wanted to cover in this video. Focus on the local pack. Don't focus on the relevant details. Focus on the things that actually matter and you can get incredible results for your business. Of course, if you want to work with me and my team, then head over to logicalmarketer.net. I'll leave a link in the description, of course. Feel free to fill out the contact form. Even if you don't want to work with me, uh, give me some questions. I'll be happy to provide more info. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.